You're listening to the Bryant Land Country Podcast, hosted by AB3. All right, everybody, welcome to a bonus episode of the Bryant Land Country Podcast. It has been a while since I have done a bonus episode. I am sitting in the hotel room in Washington, D.C. Got here yesterday after leaving PM19, Podcast Movement 19 Convention. If you are following me around here, like on the social media channels, especially at Official Bryantland on Instagram, um, if you're not, you should be at Official Bryantland Instagram. Yep, that was a plug two times. Uh, I've been at a podcast convention for the last four, well, basically all this week, um, starting since last Monday. The convention, like I said, it's called PM19 Podcast Movement 19 Convention. And what it is, is basically a convention for a group of podcasters to get together, share ideas, learn from each other. There were vendors there, um, a lot of people there, a uh, lot of uh, black podcasters, men and women, um, podcasters from all nationalities, actually. Um, And they all come together in this one space in Orlando to learn from each other. There were tons of sessions, uh, a party almost every night. So in that party atmosphere, you could network as well, or it was a good space to let you know your hair down but the reason why I wanted to attend was because I wanted to learn more about podcasting learn how to do it better and I know you know you guys probably listening or saying well what does that got to do with uh hunting fishing outdoors you know stuff that we normally cover here on the Bright Land Country podcast well simply put when you do something At least for me, when you do something, you want to be the best at it. It's no different than learning different tactics, uh, learning different ways to hunt deer, you know, or just uh, ducks, whatever it is that you're hunting, you want to gain the knowledge to be able to do it better. Well, there's usually not a lot of conventions on deer hunting unless you count the uh, expos that we have in the uh, hunting industry which I guess could be a convention because you're talking to other hunters and learning, but it's no different. Um, when you go to these conventions, it was my first time going. I've never been to a professional convention before, even, uh, working 23 years in television. I've never been to a television convention, but this was a great opportunity for me to go, for me to learn more about the podcasting field, to learn ways of how to make this podcast better, for you guys, the people that I'm serving. So I got a lot of ideas, I got a lot of takeaways, and it was almost almost like a recharge too because you're around so many creative people and being a creative like myself, when you're around a lot of creative people, it automatically steers ideas, uh, gets the uh, juices going again. And like I said, just a good recharge to get you back in the game, get you refocused. So um Hopefully down the road here with what I've learned, what I've taken away from this uh, convention, it will bring better podcasts to you guys, better content, better ideas, and just do it, you know, in a better way and uh, be more efficient. So the key word is better, 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 better. That's what I'm trying to do with this podcast and make it better for y'all. One of the other good things for me, too, and walking around and just talking to folks, I talked to a couple of people who are, you know, big into hunting or fishing. Um, I was able to walk away with two uh, podcasts that I'm going to bring to you guys down the line. So obviously I wanted to take this time with the bonus episode and explain to you what the whole PM19 thing was about. So when you hear it, you're just not like, well, what the hell is he talking about? Uh, am I listening to the right podcast? Yes, you are listening to the right podcast. And make sure if you haven't already, tell more people about this podcast and what we got going on out here. And also, of course, I have to mention Apple Podcasts. Make sure you rate, subscribe, and review. But getting back to the two interviews that I did, I did two uh, interviews with two women. Uh, One, I was actually a guest on her podcast, and it was pretty interesting. Um, And I'll tell you more about it as we get closer. But it was a podcast uh, called It's All Mental. Uh, And she was a a physical, or I'm sorry, a um, 
mental health psychologist and we had a good time she wanted to learn more and know more about what i was doing and uh exposed to the uh outdoors and hunting and stuff and it was pretty good i enjoyed it um one of the things that i really enjoyed the most about it is it allowed me to be an ambassador for our community for our hunting and fishing community so we just got together just talked uh probably about 45 minutes or so i think and i will also play that podcast here on the uh, Bryant Land Country podcast here in the upcoming weeks. And then I also got to talk to a young lady who uh, works very hard for Pandora, the uh, music service. Um, And she was there. And just in general conversation, I found out she was from Louisiana and loved fishing. Uh, She lives in New York City now, so she doesn't get to do as much fishing as she would like. But uh, we had a great conversation yesterday morning Uh, Just talking about fishing and her adventures and stuff in the outdoors. And hopefully I will be able to get her to come back on to do a little bit longer interview because we were kind of pressed for time yesterday. So that's the whole deal with the podcast Movement 19. I just wanted to, like I said, give you guys an idea uh, what was going on. Just kind of let you know. So when you see PM19 in these next few episodes, you'll know exactly what it is and uh, what happened and what was going on. Now, on Thursday, August 15th, a great thing happened in Zones 3 and 4, South Carolina. Deer season opened. Uh, archery season for deer in South Carolina, I believe the earliest opening season in the country for deer. Archery only, so happy deer season And congratulations to everyone that got a chance to go out on opening day. Anyone that got a chance to bag a deer on opening day. Uh, Just happy for you guys. You know, it's been a long off season. It seems like the more that I do this and the more that I get into it, it seems like the off season from the close of deer season to the opening of deer season next year, it seems just to be so long. And no matter what you do to fill that time, whether it's waterfowling, hunting hogs, predator hunting, you know, turkey hunting, whatever you do to fill that time in the off season, it just seems like it doesn't help the time pass until the next opening deer season. So congratulations to those folks who got a chance to go out. Hopefully you got a chance to harvest something, see some deer. Um, Like I said, it's archery season, so I can't wait to get back in a blind with my bow or get up in a stand, you know, with my bow. So shout out to all the deer hunters in South Carolina who got a chance to go out for opening day of deer season. August 15th all the way to January one. For archery, and like I said, it was only zones three and four that opened. Uh, the rest of the state opens at different periods. I think another zone opens up in fifteenth, uh, and then sometime uh, far upstate nor uh, upstate South Carolina doesn't open till like October first. But for the folks that got a chance to get out uh, here on last Thursday, like I said, it, it's awesome. I hope to get a chance to go and uh, hunt South Carolina again, have a chance at knocking down some deer with my bow um so like i said you guys congratulations man hope y'all are being successful out there and if you got if you were successful and you you know you got a uh, deer send me a picture on that official bryant land on instagram uh post your picture and tag me in it i'd love to see uh folks out there that are getting it done especially getting it done in my home state now coming up on the bryant land country podcast here in the next uh few episodes like i said on monday my conversation with uh, Antonio Marsh will be on deck. Me and Antonio have gotten a chance to hang out, do a little uh, bit of hog hunting and just uh, kicking back, shooting the breeze and talking about hunting and stuff. If you remember Antonio, he was on another episode called The Marshes where I had him and his wife just kind of introducing you guys to them. Well, this is me and Antonio just shooting the breeze having a good time. It'll be on Monday. So that one will be first up. And then the two uh, podcasts that I did down in Orlando this past week at the Podcast Movement 19 convention, like I said, Pamela Smith from It's All Mental, and then uh, Amber Smith from uh, Pandora, No Relation. Uh, Those two podcasts will be up in the next coming weeks. And then we're always getting guests on. Deer season coming up, so we're going to get some folks on uh, 
talking about their season and just their preparations. Maybe uh, I can get someone on from uh, South Carolina who's had a chance to go out and hunt from the uh, opening season starting on last Thursday. So we'll see. It's always fluid. Um, got things going on, things in the works. Irons in the fire, if you will, for the Bryantland Country Podcast. So make sure you're catching a new regular podcast every Monday. And then these bonus episodes will come periodically whenever I got something extra to say. Thank you again for supporting the Bryantland Country Podcast. I'm AB3, and I'll catch y'all up a little bit later. Thanks for listening to the Bryant Land Country Podcast, hosted by AB3. Please leave us a positive review and five-star rating on iTunes. Be sure to check out our podcast section on our website, bryantlandcountry.com, for previous podcasts. Check us out on Instagram at Official Bryant Land and Twitter at 3 Bryant Land. This has been an AB3 Media Production. Join us next time for another edition of the Bryant Land Country Podcast.